Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bad ahabatifillah the question was asked and it has been asked many times about who to take knowledge from you know where to gain benefit from where can a person find safety in their religion and so it's very important these questions and the youth of Ahlul Sunnah have a right to know these answers so that way they can protect themselves because there are so many callers to the hellfire and there are so many people who claim to be representatives of the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and claim to be calling to the book and the Sunnah but in fact they are callers to Jahannam as the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam, mentioned in an authentic hadith when he's when they said Khatta Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khattan thumma khatta ala yameeni uh, wa qal hadha sabeel Allah thumma khatta ala yameeni wa ala yasari wa qul wa qal hadha hi subur so the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he drew a line in the sand and he said, this is the path of Allah, you know, meaning that it's a straight path. And, it, you know, this leads to, this is Sarat Allahi al mustaqim You know, this is a straight path of Allah Azza wa Jal. And then he uh, drew one on the right and he drew one on the left. And he had said, Hadhi Subuh, that those are the paths. And he said, at the end of each one is a shaitan who calls. They're calling you to the fire. So, when we look at those ulama to benefit from and I'm speaking to those who are either students of knowledge uh, who have the capability uh, to go to books uh, in the Arabic language because that is the best advice I can give to you and then those who are not Arabic speakers or Arabic uh, who don't have the skills then I encourage you to learn them and benefit from the translations from these four ulama especially. That doesn't mean there's not many. There are kathra to ulama ahl sunnah mawjood. And their books are there. But especially in contemporary times. I'm not talking about the salaf. We need to go back to all these beautiful books. That are uh, for the minhaj of ahl sunnah. However in contemporary times. To know how to deal with a lot of these contemporary issues. And even though all of these four imams have deceased. And I'll begin by saying imam bin baz rahmatul because you see how they dealt with Ahl Bid'ah and how they dealt with Ahl Sunnah. And you see that when these ulama were living, the people of innovation and desires even respected them and were quiet. And those people who were under the guise of the Sunnah, meaning that they pretended to be from Ahl Sunnah or they were from Ahl Sunnah but they began to deviate, they were quiet when these great Imams were living because these Imams, they commanded respect and they dealt with uh, issues based on ilm wa fiqh wa basira wa hikmah and with wisdom and, and, and insight because they were imams of the sunnah so I mentioned bin Baz because he was a flag bearer of calling to the book and the sunnah and a flag bearer of tawheed so benefit from anything you get from imam bin Baz likewise imam bin Uthaymeen rahmatullahi rahmatin wasiya a thaqeed also, you cannot lose any book in anything that you gain from this imam. And I recommend to those students of knowledge that are beginning that when you go to those maktabas in Egypt and those maktabas in uh, Maghrib, if you can find them there, and those maktabas in Saudi, do not hesitate to get every single book from Ben Uthameen to explain the various sciences. And Ben Baz, the same. And Imam al-Albani is the third one. Imam al-Albani, as our Sheikh Imam. Abdul Masin al-Abad said, the Talib al-Ilm cannot do without the, uh, in this time, cannot do without the books of, uh, uh, of Imam al-Albani. Okay, uh, And then, I will say, Imam Mukbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, Allah yarhamuhu. And this is because this great Imam, Muhaddith, like Imam al Albani, Rahimahullah Jameer, was also an Asad or a lion 
with regards to the minhaj of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and with regards to witnessing as if you were witnessing the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the way he practiced it in his markas you know in Dar al-Hadith and Damaj and the way the students from around the world benefited from the sincerity of that Imam in his da'wah and his da'wah can be encapsulated in his statement which I want you to take this to heart and really look at this this statement it's a powerful statement قال da'wah to ahl sunnah da'wah to min kitabi la ila kitabi la wa min sunnati rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ila sunnati rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam so he said the da'wah of ahl sunnah meaning this is the call that we want to be on we don't want to be in the call, the call of of progressives like some of these individuals and I'm not going to name their names at least this time and uh, some of and, uh, and these other mubtadiyah from around the world either some who are so extreme in their takfir and their, their tabdi of others or some who have thrown away all the principles of Ahl Sunnah and just have uh, the, 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 the cloak of Ahl Sunnah you know it's just a cloak but as far as their methodology and what they practice and what they even believe some of these people is ba'id on a sunnah, it's far from the sunnah. But no, Imam Muqbil, he was talking about, he said the call of Ahl Sunnah is the call from the book of Allah, meaning the Quran, to the Quran. And from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, ila sunnati rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And it was from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Limada, why? Why? Because that cuts off the path to his bia, and that cuts off the path to insincerity to call into yourself, and that cuts off the path to call into popularity that you need YouTube followers, and you need likes, and you need the, the Facebook posts, and you need pictures of yourself on Facebook, you know, before and afters, and you need all the. La! When you see what Imam Mukbil and those other a'imma, how they called. How they were about rectifying the community. How they were lions of Tawheed, lions of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, lions in exposing Ahl al Bidah, and lions in adhering to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with wisdom. That they dealt with Ahl al Sunnah, with Ahl al Bidah, with Hikmah and wisdom. It wasn't always one position. It wasn't always, we gotta make Hajar. And it's always, I gotta curse this one and belittle this lap. Because they had Al Muthaq. This is what we need. This is what we need. It's what we needed before, it's what we need later. It's not something that was just for a time period. And that's why I advise the Talib al Am especially to go to those books, buy those books, keep those books, learn those books, teach those books, because those books have pure tarbiyah. Those imams right there, if you just had those as far as contemporary scholars, it would yakfikum. It would be sufficient for you, really, it would. Even if you had the books of Ben Uthameen and you were reading and studying those books, Aqidah, Fiqh, Hadith, you know, maybe not all the Hadith sciences, but what you need as a student of knowledge, it's there. Tafsir, I, I, what? What do you need? Uh, Arabic language, everything. Menhaj, wa Aqidah, wa Da'wah, wa Asul, wa Qawaid, wa Asul of Fiqh, Mawjood. You don't need, you wouldn't even need to go any place and you'd spend your whole life reading those books probably and you wouldn't even finish. So they're almost, they're just a reference. Reference. Look at uh, Shara Mumte. That book, anybody who knows Arabic and knows what I'm talking about knows I don't even need to say anything else. Shara Mumte. Bess. That's all I need to say. So what I want to say, Habatifillah, especially for those who are learning Arabic, those students of knowledge that are beginners and those students of knowledge who are even uh, you know, before that uh, you know that have ilm uh, and, 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 and can teach us something that <clears throat> that I want to say that go to those books and keep in those books and Subhanallah I'm amazed I'm just coming across so many benefits just from Ben Uthameen and Ben Baz and and now more so Imam Al Albani that deals with the mashakal, all the problems that we have, these contemporary issues, these contemporary splittings, these comp contemporary divisions, those imams dealt with it. And those imams, it's like they're living now. 
that they even gave you the medicine back then. And of course the medicine is in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qal, فَمَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَّرَا اِخْتَلَافٍ كَثِيرًا فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّةِ وَسُنَّةُ الْخُلَفَى الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِينَ The Prophet alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, those who live after me, they will see many differences. And he's talking to who? The companions, رضي الله تعالى عنهم اجمعين. He's talking to them. رضي الله تعالى عنهم اجمعين. فَسَيَّرَا اِخْتَلَافٍ كَثِيرًا They'll see many differences. Then what did he give? He gave you the medicine, gave you the prescription. فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّةِ وَسُنَّةُ الْخُلَفَى الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِينَ So it's upon you, my sunnah, and the sunnah of the Khulafa al-Rashidin al-Mahdin. So it really is the book. It really is calling to the book and the sunnah. Really, that's it. You don't need, you don't need pop, you don't need all these other things. You don't need it. Because look, I, I didn't want to do this, but look at people like Yasser Qadi. That is just a shameful. And any of you who defend and think about that, Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and either you're, you, if you're fearing him based on ignorance, okay, because you just love and he had so many nice speeches and stuff from the past, and, okay, but if you know anything about Kitab wa Sunnah and the, the, the Madhab of the Salaf, there's, it's just, it's impossible. Those people who made excuses for him for years, you ran out. Look at what the man says, look at what the man does, and that Yaqfina had it. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was clearly from myself and the shaitan.